Government has cancelled a $74 million contract awarded to the Drosbon Group of Companies to supply waste bins, a contract joint use investigation found to have been highly inflated. The cancellation of the contract, which translates to 362 million CDs, follows joint use investigations in 2017 by Manasseh Azuri Awone. John News found the procurement of 1 million waste bins and 900,000 pieces of disposable bin liners was inflated by at least 148 million CDs. Here's a recap of that investigative story we brought you in 2017. This environment has nothing to do with sanitation or waste management. This premises is the district police headquarters in Chenderi in the Krachin Chumuri district of the Volta region. About 200 of these litter bins have been here since last year and they were relocated here because the owner of the facility in which they were kept in Chenderay Town asked the assembly to find a place for them. The waste bins in most of these areas are left in the sun and some are cracking. In the Northern Regional Coordinating Council in Tamale, there are bins packed under a tree. But the Northern Regional Environmental Health Officer Matthew Jakpamumuni says Besides those he's yet to distribute, he still has more to take delivery of. In the Upper East region, there were waste bins left in the open at the Bongo and Talensi districts at the time of our visit. Joseph Azora is the Bongo District Environmental Health Officer, whose outfit is in charge of distributing the bins. We had about 600 bins. And then here, Zoo Lions started with their own bins where they they were charging people. If you come to pick it, they have, uh, you have a memory charge to pay so that every week or every two weeks they come to empty your container. At the old residency of the Upper West Regional Coordinating Council in Wa, waste bins left there for over two years were covered with weeds and left at the mercy of the weather. The Wa Municipal Assembly, which is a few meters away from here, has not been able to distribute some of its waste bins. There are hundreds of them left in the open at two separate locations, the residences of the Municipal Coordinating Director and the Municipal Finance Officer. The assemblies, especially the rural ones, say residents do not need the waste bins. They hardly generate waste and prefer smaller containers, which children would carry to the communal container size for dumping. In some assemblies, the households which took the waste bins used them to store water. George Arthur is the one municipal environmental health officer. Whenever we go out on this our premises inspection, we see that uh, some of them will put them in the house and store in water. I was able to organize my environmental uh, officer. We went to run all those people, those people we all this, and we treat them back. They were using it for water? Yeah, they were using it for water. In November 2014, the local government ministry awarded a contract to Qualiplast to supply 155,000 waste bins. The company supplied about 100,000 waste bins and was asked to hold on because there was no space to accommodate the rest. While the company was still waiting to supply, the ministry went ahead to award an inflated contract to the Jospon Group to supply 1 million bins. The office of the president directed the local government ministry to award the contract. The chief of staff at the presidency at the time, Julius Debra, was the minister of local government at the time the contract was awarded for the supply of the 155,000 bins. He also wrote a letter directing the Minister of Finance to make provision in the 2017 budget to finance the $74 million contract. So that was except of that uh, documentary series we brought you, Robbing the Assemblies. And there were a number of contracts that were questionable. Now let's bring you details on the latest from this particular except that you saw as government has cancelled that particular contract to supply waste bins. On November 7, 2016, the Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development single-sourced five companies to supply one million waste bins and 900,000 disposable bin liners. John News investigations revealed all the five companies belonged to the Jospon Group of Companies. Our investigation also revealed that the $74 million contract was inflated by at least $31.1 million US dollars. For instance, a piece of bin liner which was sold at the Jospon Group at 98 pesos was being quoted in the contract at 15.6 US dollars or 70 CDs. 
A visit to some 53 metropolitan, municipal and district assemblies across the 10 regions also revealed that the ministry had procured 150,000 waste bins for the assemblies and could not distribute them at the time it was ordering the 1 million bins. The directive to procure the 1 million waste bins was given from the office of a president. Following Joy News' expose, the Attorney General ordered the police CID to commence criminal investigation into the scandal. But before it concludes the matter, the local government ministry has been directed to terminate the contract. The Jospon Group was yet to supply the bins and no payment has been made yet. A cabinet committee has also been set up to comprehensively review the questionable sanitation contracts revealed in the robbing the Assembly's documentary. Meanwhile, one year and five months since the police CID started criminal investigation into the waste bins and fumigation scandals, it is yet to be known if any action will be taken by the Attorney General.